for me as a director of a German Leibniz Institute, an institute in the Leibniz Gemeinschaft, the transfer of historical knowledge and evidence, in Germany we say Wissenstransfer, is a key demand on the one hand as a main feature of institutional identity of the Leibniz Society and its institutes and its members, and we belong to the Leibniz Society. But on the other hand, it's often disputed, this a transfer of historical knowledge is often disputed as a threat for the polit professional historical science by vulgarization and simplification. And of course, there are a, is a lot of evidence for such a, um, such a state statement. It is true, e.g., e e e that for, this, for decades already the historical discipline has been to some extent undergoing a creeping devaluation of its symbolic expertise, which is clearly notice noticeable in the public debates, which we have seen during the last um, decades. The, the 1960s Fischer contro controversy about the outbreak of World War I was entered into almost exclusively by academic historians and maintained the difference between <coughs> science and public. That's true. But a quarter century later, the feuilleton debate between Jürgen Habermas and Ernst Deutsche and others, others of course, about the co-equality of the Stalinist and National Socialist crimes lived already only, nearly only from its presentation in the media and remained professionally and substantially unsatisfying. In the late 1990s public debates about David Goldhagen's thesis of the German eliminatory anti-Semitism on the one hand and the part of the German Wehrmacht of the National Socialist break of civilization on the other hand, professional historical science and its acquired knowledge played a mere subordinate role. Goldhagen would never have written his thesis with uh, Hans Ulrich Wehler, for example, as Wehler has stated on the TV some several times. This phenomenon points to a points to a tectonic shift of far-reaching importance. In the last decades, contemporary history, at least, with its reappraisal of the past has expanded beyond universities and ours and academic research institutions into the space of society. And in public awareness, academic basic research has shifted towards an applied contemporary history, which we name today public history. The amount of chairs of contemporary history at German universities remains stagnant, has not augmented, while at the same time the public interest in the discourse with the past of the 20th century is still growing. The history departments of university and non-universitarian research institutions have been joined by historical museums, the German Historical Museum in Berlin, for example, at memorial sites, which in the 80s and 90s established themsel themselves as acknowledged providers of public discourse with the past. Along with a lot of public history initiatives and semi-public study groups, they combine into a network that is supported by sponsoring institutions and commissioned institutions, so to say, like the Foundation for the Reappraisal of the SED Dictatorship, Bundesstiftung zur Aufarbeitung der SED Diktatur, and in which the boundaries between historical science and the interpretation or the impartation of history have blurred. Further, today's contemporary history less and less follows the logic inherent in the subject's basic research, but rather follows the laws of a user-orientated market. The contemporary history of today has to a great extent become a historical cultural supplier. The magic of anniversaries channels uh, funds and ties up research capacities rather according to the laws of the media than those of science. Next year we have 30, 1933 and the anniversary and we are already discussing 100 years of World War I because we have the anniversary in two years. The historical interpretation of the past is compressed into a picture frame of a history that is focused on events and ho is hopping from one anniversary to the next, of course. Consequen consequently, a fusion of science, the policy of commemoration and the culture of, re of remembrance has already developed. Their common motto is the will not only longer to come to terms with the past, that is for me in German Vergangenheitsbewältigung, but to work through the past, a never-ending process of working through the past. In my opinion, but in my opinion, it cannot be the task of a historical science to keep that keeps past with the present, only to criticize or to lament this development in a manner of cultural criticism. 
Rather, the implication of this development should be reflected on. That's the point of, of my institute, the Leibniz Institute in, in Potsdam. But we cannot learn to reflect about this phenomenon, that's my point, if we just stay away or st keep clear of this development. We have to be entangled as actors and ob observers in, in one person or in one institution. We cannot stay away from a process which I have described as a problematic process.